Hi guys, it is a another hot, steamy May 3rd, 2012 here in South Austin, Texas in the dried up wasteland of Williamson Creek. Uh, get two ramps today since I might not be able to ramp tomorrow. The first one, I think in my continuing series of billionaires that Alex Jones loves to hate. Uh, my review, I've done, let's see, I've covered Bill Gates and Maurice Strong. So today I'm going to talk about one of my fellow Georgia boys. Probably everybody's favorite billionaire that they love to hate, Mr. Ted Turner, who uh, since I grew up in Atlanta, right along as he was developing his career, I got to I got to follow the exploits of Ted Turner throughout my childhood. I, uh, and it seems to me, guys, for pretty much my entire life, I have been defending the, the, this egotistical, arrogant, loudmouth, sarcastic, condescending uh, jerk. Perhaps it's because he reminds me of myself. I don't know. I, I don't necessarily find these, these personality traits uh, particularly offensive, particularly when they're directed at assholes uh, that, you know, call a spade a spade. And, and whatever else you can say about Ted Turner, the man has no problem calling a spade a spade. I, I have been defending the guy against his detractors, I feel like, since I was about 12 years old. Uh, yeah, the guy's an asshole. Let's get that, you know, let's get that established. Uh, you know, just in my own tiny little slice of life here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, all the words I just used to describe uh, him have been used to describe me. Uh, he's not... He, Ted Turner's not out to win any popularity contest, guys. He doesn't give a damn. And I respect the man for it. You know, he was a damn billionaire, although he was, although the, quote, mouth of the South, as he's been called, uh, it, way before he was a billionaire, he still had the same personality traits. Uh, if you don't know about, real quick, uh, Ted Turner, he genuinely is, he genuinely is a, a small town Georgia cracker. Uh, he's not putting on an act. I think he was born in Monroe. What is it Monroe, Georgia that he was born in? But, but his daddy ran these billboards. You still see him all over Georgia. Turner, see Turner at the bottom is, his daddy ran this billboard company and passed it on to Ted. Well, Ted wasn't uh, happy to, to run one of those little things, so he, he went from his billboard company to Turner Broadcasting Systems. He started with, you know, with this hilarious stuff like live Atlanta wrestling and, uh, and dialing for dollars. And then, of course, he went to, from TBS to CNN and, you know, the whole bit. And that's where he, he, he made his billions of dollars uh, I, I've got no problem with the guy's mouth because, you, you, you know, it, it's what's coming out of it when you listen to the words coming out of it are, are what's important. And, and the man is a straight shooter. He doesn't give a damn what anyone, uh, you know, thinks about him. I mean, you know, in and, and, and many ways, he's very similar to, to Alex Jones that, you know, uh, they speak the truth. You know, all you can say about Alex Jones is the same thing about, about uh, Ted Turner. Both men, they speak the truth or what they consider the truth. Now, it just so happens that on environmental issues that uh, Ted Turner, uh, you, you know, he speaks the truth as he sees it. And listening to the man talk, I agree with everything he says on the environment. You know, we need we need more billionaires uh, running major media outlets who who cut through the crap 
And oh, by the way, I forgot to say this this whole rant is based on a uh, an excellent uh, interview I heard with Ted uh, yesterday at the it was a, a an interview he gave before I some business students at Stanford University in, in California. <clears throat> and I posted it on my favorites. If you want to go and plug on that, it should have been the last favorite I have posted. You can hear, it's about an hour long interview. And, uh, and, 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 and Ted just cuts to the chase. And here is the chase. The bottom line of what is going wrong on this planet is there are too many people gobbling up too much stuff. And when you, when you boil it all down, that's what it boils down to, is too many people gobbling up too much stuff. It is overpopulation and the, the twin horn of the beast over consumption the combination of these two now you know could you go off on I, I'm sure Ted would be an easy target on the overconsumption and I've seen the man's house trust me guys it ain't a hundred and fifty square foot uh, leaky trailer okay he, he, the man has a nice home in Atlanta Georgia on Powers Ferry Road up by Chastain Park I've, uh, I've driven past it many times uh, so I'm sure on some level you could give Ted Turner the Al Gore and, you know, tree hugger, uh, hypocrite of the year award uh, for his own lifestyle. But I bet compared to most billionaires, the guy really does uh, not consume nearly as much as, as most people would in his financial position. Uh, too many people gobbling up. Too much stuff. Well said, Ted. The more billionaires we get out there spreading this message, the better. The more hippies we, you know, broke hippies up on rocks spreading this message, the better. And, and right behind that message is too many people, you know, gobbling up too much stuff. The, the second message is get rid of fossil fuels. The man's not up there saying conserve fossil fuels. Uh, he is saying get rid of the sons of bitches. Oil and coal need to be gotten rid of. They need to be stamped out. They're, you know, of all the stuff that these, these too many consumers are consuming, it is fossil fuels, particularly two out of three of them, oil and coal, that are that are all tied into this. You know, when when you cut to the chase of what's going wrong on this planet. Now he says what he said in his speech yesterday about natural gas, which is the third fossil fuel. Uh, he said, and I guess I agree with him, is although he didn't get into fracking, that natural gas needs to be used as this quote bridge fuel as he called it while this society and this civilization and this species are transferring over to renewable energy sources namely solar uh, that in the interim that natural gas can uh, take the place of, of oil and coal just for a very few years till we get truly truly sustainable energy sources uh, put in place and that is what he's doing with his life he's now 72 years old and he's not sitting back resting on his billion dollar laurels the man is he's left the media business now and he is devoting his time energy and financial resources to developing solar energy and he was what he was recommending to these these young folks at the Stanford Business School is when they were as, asking for his advice where to go with their own business careers he was saying alternative to fossil fuel energy development that is where uh, today's 
young brightest minds need to be putting their attention is to getting this society off of fossil fuels. You know, I, I, I could put Ted Turner right up on this rock verbatim. The man, uh, he, you know, he makes he, he makes perfect sense. I don't I don't give a damn how arrogant or egotistical or whatever. Uh, he, he's spreading the message that needs to be spread. More power to him. You know, I, I, I wish there were a hundred more like him. Spreading the message that needs to be spread. And, uh, you know, other reasons I have respect for the guy now, I, I, I guess I had heard this, that, that Ted Turner, and this is interesting to me since I am a former real estate agent, Ted Turner is the single biggest individual landowner in the United States of America, one of the biggest landowners on planet Earth. He owns more than two million acres. Uh, he himself owns more than two million acres, mostly out there in New Mexico and Montana. And, and what is he doing with his two million acres? Well, what he's, a lot of what he's doing is, is he's bringing it back uh, to the way it was back before it was ruined by the cattlemen. Uh, you better believe that Ted Turner, I love it, that this good old boy from Georgia is riling up these good old boys out there in the Rocky Mountains because he's getting rid of those damn cows and putting on bison that used to be there. He is reintroducing bison and wolves back onto his property. He understands the simple logic that the more people like him, and I think he actually has a restaurant that, that actually serves up bison as their main, their main course, uh, he understands the simple logic that the more bison that are, are reintroduced into the American West, the more a market is created for bison meat, the more bison there will be and the less cows. That bison are designed to graze on the American West. Guys, this is, you know, this is simple logic. Anyone who, and, and apparently just from, an, you know, from a comment I got on one of my own videos recently, people do not understand the simple logic about something as simple as the difference between a bison and a cow. This is why I eat bison, but, and I do not eat cows, because I can understand the same four, fourth grade logic that, you know, a, an animal that was designed for a particular ecosystem should be the animal that's being raised in that ecosystem. Now, wherever these damn cows come from, you know, I think they come from somewhere like the foothills of the Himalayas. I wouldn't mind eating a damn cow that was being grazed in the foothills of the Himalayas. Because that's where Mother Nature put them. But I probably would not eat a bison from the foothills of the Himalayas because bison don't belong in the foothills of the Himalayas. They belong in the Rocky Mountains of the American West, which is exactly where Ted Turner is reestablishing them. You know, you don't have to be some, some deep thinker here. And, uh, and, and Ted Turner, you know, the guy, he, he's a Georgia cracker, more so than I am. You know, I'm, a, you know, I'm an upper middle class suburban white boy. Now, this guy's the real deal. And, uh, and, and it's refreshing to me that in, in this day and age to see some loud mouth Georgia crackers out there talking some plain common sense. And I'm cheering the guy on and uh, anyone who, uh, I, I'm sure Alex Jones would describe the guy as one of the kings of the, you know, the eugenicist, the eco-Nazis. Uh, generally speaking, anyone that Alex Jones calls one of the kings of the eco-Nazis, you can believe 
that, that this eco Nazi right here, this loud mouth Georgia boy, eco Nazi is gonna is gonna cheer him on. So anyway, I'll wrap up this rant and do another closely related rant about the fossil fuel industry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for another minute. But Ted, if you're listening to this old hippie on the rock, I love you, buddy. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Keep up the mouth. Right, right on up. He, he'll, he'll be uh, Ted Turner. will be, will, will be running his mouth. You know, probably in the in the funeral home, as he should be. Bye, guys.